What attracted you to the role of the collector? James Gunn enthusiasm. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, so, for people who haven't seen the movie yet, how did you have to change your appearance for the part? And what part of playing the, cor the collector did you enjoy the most? Um... Okay, so it's two. So, um, first of all, um, the 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 collector, the character that has been in, in the comic books for a while, um, not that well known, but his hair is totally white. His uh, eyebrows are white. Um, so, and the um, and the wardrobe is uh, in the comic book is uh, it's similar to the wardrobe that uh, that the Marvel team to put together um, so I I felt like um, that helped uh, the beginnings of creating the character you know the hair um, and the, the, the makeup and the and uh, and the wardrobe that's always kind of like that will really uh, make you think about the character I think I had a wardrobe fitting sometime before I went to London to to shoot the, the, the sequence I'm in and uh, and I think that the the wardrobe kind of like started me thinking about uh, the character being kind of like uh, having some qualities from I don't know it's, it had a chain around and I don't know 1700s you know something like that or eight, 1800s uh, uh, but um, so that's one thing that really helps to to start your 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 cre your creation of this character is the wardrobe will like um, also is um, the Marvel team they 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 really kind of like they help uh, getting me pieces from the comics to read a little bit about it and the and the script you know uh, to James Gunn and uh, so that's one thing and then what was the other question the the I, th I think you've kind of answered it. I mean, w w w was there a part of playing the collector that you really enjoyed? I think all of it I really enjoyed because it was kind of like a it was kind of like a glorified um, uh, uh, I, uh, um, what do you call it? Um, kind of like a some petri dish of ideas, you know. Um, it's hard to just do just a, a little sequence. And so I had ideas and then the collaboration with James Gunn, the director was, um, I, could, I could sense when he liked an idea. And when he liked an idea, that gave me like a green light to explore that idea and, and just follow through on that idea. And um, so, um, that was a that was a that was a great you know collaboration there and made it a lot of fun uh, to work on this and be and be there to 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 and be part of this of this of the Guardians. <coughs> and when you were on, were were you on with mostly green screen or were there big physical sets? The, this was I would say this one was uh, the the collector's lab. Was probably uh, I would say sixty percent set, mm -hmm. or maybe more sixty seventy percent. But uh, of course, the Groot wasn't there, and Rocket wasn't there. <laughs> they were too busy doing something else. I think they were in the Bahamas. Um, uh, so so that was missing. And I and I and I when I read the script for some reason, the Groot to me was kind of like. Um, Four feet tall or something like that, and uh, so I didn't know it was so tall. So that was kind of like a surprise. Um, so this, you're here. You're in a big Marvel epic space adventure. Was it was it a big epic experience? Was it was it fun? Yeah, it was. It was fun. It was short for me. I mean, but it was fun. But I really, I really think that. When I watched the film, I was like, really, that was really fun. Seeing it all put together and uh, the work, the detail, the, the emotional journey of the piece, the pace, the rhythm, 
of the film, the the characters, watching um, Chris Pratt and Zoe Zaldana, you know, like, and then, you know, Dave Bautista but, and Michael Rooker making me laugh. I really enjoy the actors in it too, you know. It was a, it was a really well orchestrated, you know, you know, piece of filmmaking that I, I was really proud of when that movie came to an end and kind of like wanted more. Yeah, audiences are loving it for sure. Um, if you had to describe Guardians of the Galaxy in one word or in just a few words, what would that be? Uh, you know, the journey of underdogs, you know, the, the heroes, the, what do you call it? With the heroes when the, the, there's, there's, there's something about the heroes that, that they don't know they're heroes and they become heroes, you know? So I think that that's, and that's always a great, great, great for stories. You know, they're, they're heroes. They don't even know they're heroes, and they become heroes, you know.